So, crazy, once again, another crazy week in football. But so, it, then again, it is just another day ending in Y. Um, unfortunately, we do have to make a quick announcement uh, regarding predictions going forward. Um, our good friend Kana has been on the uh, predictions cast for the past two years. And she's actually been starting up a new YouTube channel. Uh, not a YouTube channel. A uh, Twitch uh, channel. And she's actually been very successful on that if you haven't seen it we have a link in the description below unfortunately it's taken a lot of time out from uh here here at uh, the haymakers to predict and it's basically been screwing up her sleep schedule and as a result she's unable to watch a lot of the games that are earlier on because of uh, australia's time zone so unfortunately uh kana will not be on the uh, on the Haymakers prediction cast for uh, the foreseeable future. Hopefully, we can get her back for uh, the playoffs because playoffs are going to be wild this year. Greetings, everybody. I'm the voice of reason here with uh, Nikki V for the Haymakers predicting the NFL. And geez, it's just been it's just been an insane week. And honestly, I think we're normal. Like we're getting somewhat of a normalcy. Uh, back, back. Yeah, but I think normalcy is basically just a slightly less like version of utter insanity. So that is fair. And uh, and judging from uh, how we did uh, how we did last week, uh, I kicked everyone's ass. Yeah, you killed last week. Like uh, you, you kicked butt. Yeah, I I I defeated the coin <laughs> finally. <laughs> Finally. Uh, yep. Uh, a worthy successor. Yes. Uh, managed to... Yeah, it actually didn't do bad. I was the only one who picked... Um, out of us three, I was the only one who picked the Colts. And I was also the only one who picked the Ravens to beat the Bengals. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only one that I didn't pick... Um, and the only one to pick the Bucks over the Falcons. Which, honestly, we should have seen coming. Was I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I mean, the only ones that I was... Got, if because the there were two two games were at least close the the Browns uh the Browns were off by just a, uh, by a field goal and then uh the was it the the Jaguars uh the the offense just didn't show up <clears throat> but other than that well most of the game most of the games this week were actually pretty good or at least the blow or if it was a blowout there were fun blowouts uh, mm -hmm. but as always we have our winners and losers and uh, my loser for the week. And uh, my loser for the foreseeable weeks, Amazon. Oh, poor, poor billion dollar company. Like, or trillion or something? Like, uh, it, 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 it's close. Well, regardless, like, y you know, like, I'm beginning to think this, de like, the deal that they, they started at the, be at the beginning of the year, that we're going to have the Thursday night games uh, outside of, you know, the starting um, the starting game will be streamed on Amazon and Amazon for Amazon Prime users. On one hand, okay, get more Amazon Prime users, get a, a chance to expand the uh, the sports world to a, 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 good, a decent, very good streaming service. All that sounds good. The problem, the game so far outside of the Chargers Chiefs game have sucked. Yes, like it. it uh, who who is the one who did like the video about like? I think it was Grassi who did the video about how like here here's your first game Chargers versus Chiefs two of the best teams in the league wow that's great what's the rest of the games look like here that's just a bag of dog shit yeah and we just paid for this other bit bag of dog shit called uh Rings of Power yeah yep that was Tom yep yeah, and uh, this week, I this week, this past week, I think had the worst of the Amazon Prime games. Oh, oh, did it? Oh yeah. Because I think we've got something for for the for the Thursday night game that might just top that. Well, okay, I should say so far, so far, <laughs> the worst day of your life so far. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, uh, your loser for the week. Oh, uh, my loser for the week 
Shit, what was my loser? Oh yeah, it's Matt Rule because he got fucking canned. Yeah, Matt Rule is mm -hmm. no longer no longer a Panther. Oh, poor guy. Like he, like he had a seven-year contract with no NFL experience. God, who could have seen that one coming? Oh, who could have predicted that he would have failed? I mean. He didn't fail as hard as, say, I don't know, Urban Meyer or uh, Bobby what's Petrino. Bobby Petrino. Yeah, sure. That is such a low bar, and he barely cleared it. Did better than Lou Holtz. Have I mentioned oof? Yeah. Like, he's not the worst head coach of all time, but, like... He did waste a couple years of a pretty solid Bengals, or not Bengals, uh, Panthers defense. And, like, may have put the nail in the coffin for Baker Mayfield. Yeah. yeah it's bad when, when the fans are, are, pre are cheering for Sam Darnold to come back. Oh, speaking of Baker Mayfield, isn't he going to be out for two to six weeks? Uh, I'll double check. Is if I recall, Sam Darnold's hurt as well, and uh, the rookie that they got is hurt too. Oh yeah, you think of um, Malik, not Malik Willis. Um, oh gosh, uh, I'm blanking on the guy's name. Howell. Yes. Was it Sam Howell? I believe so. Uh, but yeah, it's not looking good for the Panthers. Okay. So so the only healthy quarterback on the active Walker right now is PJ Walker, former XFL star. Yep. Oh, oh, this is going to be disastrous. <laughs> Sam Darnold remains on injured reserve and is weeks away from being available. Carolina likely would call quarterback Jacob Eason up from the practice squad. Is that other? I know that they drafted a quarterback, but I don't see him on this darn. Preach. Hmm. Carolina depth chart. Carolina. Yeah, it, it might it might have been Sam. It might have been Sam Howell. I'm blank. I'm blanking all the all the QBs that are talking because the only ones I really know are Malik Willis and uh, and Kenny Pickett. Matt Corral. Matt Corral. That's who. Yeah, I think Sam Howell is a is a commie. Right. And. Uh, right. And what and what's his face? Uh, Brock Purdy is, is a 49er. You got a Purdy mouth. Uh, yeah. So rule loser for the week. Your winner though. Ah, uh, this is so good. Brian Dable, head coach of the New York Giants. They're four and one. Who could have seen this coming? I don't think any. I don't think anyone saw this coming. I think incredible. They they stopped the they shut out the Packers. Uh, they set up the Packers offense. The only reason they got mm -hmm. the only reason they scored in the in the last bit in the, in the last quarter was because they allowed a safety to happen to run out the yeah, clock. An, in, an intentional safety. This guy fixed Daniel Jones. Uh, well, I wouldn't say fix, but they they adapted to his flaws re a right. lot better and. I want to, and they again utilize. I don't know what it is, but O line's looking a lot better. The run game's a lot better. The pass game still needs work, uh, but they're doing something right. Dable's doing yeah. Dable, and uh, uh, was it? I forgot the GM, but uh, they're doing. They're I, doing. I thought you were going to think. I thought you were thinking of Ken Dorsey. No, I wasn't. Not Ken Dorsey. Oh wait, no, Ken Dorsey is the guy who replaced Brian Dable in Buffalo. Never mind. Yeah, no, uh, Joe. I'm talking to the GM, Joe Shane. That sounds right. I think that's it. But yeah, they're whatever they're doing, they're doing that they're doing something right. And hell, they got uh they got they got a big test this week, so we'll see what happens. Um Yeah. They got Saquon looking like he did in his rookie season. So oh that's... my god, yes. Dude, he like he was out for like a quarter and then he came back and, and showed why he was, he was the number two pick in twenty eighteen. Is that high? Yeah, you, you went number two. Oh, okay. 
Uh, or was it 2017? One of the two. Uh, anyway, uh, but my winner for the week, um, anyone who watched the Seahawks Saints game? That game slapped. That was amazing. Uh, just looking, just looking at the stats. Uh, Geno Smith, uh, sixteen for twenty-five, two hundred sixty-eight yards with three, uh, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, and meanwhile, on uh, meanwhile on the Saints side, Andy Dalton and Tays- and look at Tays- Taysom Hill, nine, nine yards rushing for hundred and twelve yards and three touchdowns. The one week I decide to sit Taysom Hill. God damn it. Uh, not only that, Olave got a touchdown. Adam Trotman got a touchdown. Uh, Kamara went yard, uh, 6 for 91 yards. Mm-hmm. Um, on the Kenneth Walker stepped up for an injured Rashad Penny, uh, going 8 for 88 with one uh, rushing touchdown. Freaking Tyler Lockett and, and DK Metcalf. Every time that uh, uh, Gino went yard, those two were catching it, no matter what. I think it's pretty safe to say that the Seahawks might have won the the Russell Wilson trade. Oh yeah, <laughs> like it, it's funny. We were all like, I've been talking with uh, some people at work about how the uh, the the Texans got basically a, like such a, an amazing haul for the uh, in the Deshaun Watson trade. They're getting three first round picks. Like the but freaking the Seahawks with Geno Smith at quarterback. Plus they get. They got Noah Fant, they got Shelby Harris, and they got two more first round picks and like a third or a second as well. Like that they 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 fleeced them. They fleeced them. <laughs> yeah. Uh quick honorable mention though, uh all three uh cornerbacks that got taken in the first round this uh this year for the tw- uh, for the draft, uh all got their first uh, interception. Uh yeah. Der- Sauce Gardner, Kyer Ellum, and Dirk Sing- and, and uh Dirk Singley Jr. at the end of the Dirk Singley? At the at end of the the Jags uh, Texans game, yep. And I think uh, Dingley got a safety as well. No, uh, uh, Gardner did. Oh, Gardner did first. Yeah. For, for, first play that the dolphin that the Dolphins had had was a safety because of inte- uh, due to intentional grounding in the end zone. Oof. And after that, uh, after that one play, Bridgewater was out, and then the other guy came in, which. Honestly, Tyler Thompson honestly did not do too bad for a seventh round pick. I've seen worse. We are now into week six, which means we are now into the start of bye weeks. And of course, and this week on the bye, uh, pe- teams that desperately need it: uh, the Lions, the Raiders for for one, uh, the Titans after almost losing to the Commanders, and then the Texans just getting a brief reprieve after getting their first win. I think the reprieve is for us so that we don't have to watch the Texans play. Fair enough. But yeah, the, the Lions the, the Lions will be healthy enough to get DeAndre Swift and Amon Ross and Brown back, so maybe next time they won't get blanked. Uh, the Raiders, like, they just need help. I don't know what could help them. Maybe a priest. But, um... Hey, they're, they're they're in bad shape. Hey, no one no one's gotten arrested yet, so hold on to that. Just hold on to oh, that. Oh, no one's gotten arrested. You know what? You right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving on. Starting off. Uh, although, like... although, if you want to hear something fucked up, um, like De- uh, Devonte Adams shoved over that uh, uh, photographer. Yeah, was... I did. I saw that at the end of the game. So for the second season in a row, a uh, Raider has plowed through a member of the public. Well. Thank you. Thank you. That's the correct reaction. Anyway. <laughs> moving on. Starting off the Thursday night game on Amazon. Now, we did talk about how last week, uh, this week was the worst game so far. This might top it, question mark? Commander's taking on the Bears. Oh, God. There's going to be 20 passes in this entire game. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's talk about the positives. Uh, Brian Robinson Jr. came back last week. Yes, great. The, yeah, yeah, after he like got shot in training camp. Like, terrific comeback. Awesome. Um, other positive? Um, At uh, Darnell Mooney catch? Yeah, <laughs> that's our that. Oh my god, I'm not used to the Bears p- 
putting up crazy cool offense. This is weird. Yeah, also, uh, another positive, Carson Wentz uh, didn't look like complete shit. Uh, 25 mm-hmm. 38, 359 yards, and uh, Deami Brown only had two only had two catches for 105 yards, and both of them were touchdowns. Like, he's one of those... I remember he's one of those guys that uh, was drafted ahead of Amon Ra St. Brown, and he's one of those guys that, uh, like, Amon Ra, like, memorized the name of all of the people drafted ahead of him, and Diami hadn't hadn't done anything up to this point. So, nice to see him finally, you know, doing a thing. Yeah. Um, but, this week's a toss-up, but not for the reasons you think. They're both equal, equally, like, oof. Although, I will say, Justin Fields had his best game of the season last year. He went 15 for 21, 208 in the touchdown. Yep. With with uh, 47 yards on the ground. Yep, and they, almost, and they almost won. Yeah, they were leading up until very late. Yeah. So, um, they almost beat the Vikings, who are better than I want them to be. <laughs> better than any Packers fan wants them to be. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they, they aren't winless, so they're doing better than I want them to be. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this Justin is... Jefferson Nate is alive. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, I think... I don't know. I think I want to go with the Bears on this one. I, I know it's... It, I, I think maybe the maybe home field advantage will, uh, will give them a little bit of a nudge over the commanders. Um... Although, depending on this week, I'm trying to see because um, I'm trying to think who I have on my fantasy team. Uh, I mean, I have Wentz and Murray. I'm just trying to think who's going to do better. Like, Wentz against the Bears D or the Cardinals with D Hop back? Wait, why is Wentz questionable? Did he get hurt? Or is he just uh, in... some Something with his shoulder. Limited in the... The uh, commander's injury report. Carson Wentz has a gimpy shoulder. That's bad news. All right. Well, n- I'll, if that's the case, I'll 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 hedge my bets and say I'll uh, I will say the Bears uh, win this, but it'll be a it'll be a close it'll be a close one. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the worst ge- worst game. I think we've seen the worst so far. We'll we'll see yeah, a little yeah, bit I was more. About to say. If anything can top the freaking Broncos game from last week, then, like, we should not be hoping for that. That's fair. Like, that is that is terrifyingly bad. Uh, but who are you taking? I'm taking the Bears. Like, they... Bears are good enough to at least hang tough with, like, some good team... Or some good teams like they they almost beat the vikings uh trying to think what else they 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 did beat the 49ers although that was in a monsoon but like um they stayed close with the giants and that one's looking better and better every week yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna say the bears can top the commies all right and uh 500 all right, and earlier uh, we used our American coin to do to do the coin flip, and the coin has agreed with us. They're taking the Bears. All right, moving on. Next game, starting one o'clock in the U in the U S of A because we're taking a break from the from the Europe games. Ravens taking on the Giants. Oh man, I the way that the season has been going so far, the Ravens are going to be up forty points at halftime and then blow it. Uh, yeah, I like again. This is this is another test for Brian for Brian Dable. Like his first big test was against the Cowboys. Um, close game, but they edged it out uh, because the Cowboys defense is top top three. Um, but this one, I think they'll have. This will probably be an easy easier matchup compared to compared to the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. But I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, the Ravens are go- Ravens going to eat uh, are going to get this one. See, I, I I'm not as high on the, the Raiders or the Ravens outside of Lamar Jackson as some because so far 
Uh, their only wins have come against the um, the Jets, who are hot and cold, the Patriots, who, and the Bengals. Like none of those teams particularly excite me. So I I think that this I think the dream season continues. I'm taking the Giants. All righty, and the coin agrees with you. All right. Next game. Uh oh man, that hype that hype fell fell really down fast. Jaguars Colts. We talk more about the Ravens Giants. <laughs> I wish. Oh. Yeah, they just like you know, there's they were starting off fine. Yeah, they were starting two and one. They lost a close game against Philadelphia and then ugh, just hitting a brick wall that was that was the that was that losing streak of going 0 and 9 against the Texans. Mhm. Like at 2 and 1 freaking uh when they were 2 and 1 Trevor Lawrence said, uh you have to admit we're a good team. Or we're a very good team, I think were his exact words. And then oh no. <laughs> change that uh change that uh weird and remove the apostrophe. We're a very good team. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, it, it, it's like, uh, remember last year when they won their first game of the season and they put out the tweet that said, not satisfied with 1-0, and oh, and then they went 1-15? and 15. Yeah. Was. Yeah, the J- Jaguars, uh, since 2018, need to learn uh, the word humble pie. They, yeah. That, they need to, like temper expectations like yeah we're, yeah want to know baby and then just lose the next 15 games yeah so that, that being said i'm not taking the colts can't make me oh right isn't John, jonathan taylor's hurt right uh yeah he i think he missed the last yeah he missed the last game and he's questionable for this one hmm so it's it's it doesn't look great. Yeah. In fact, I'm actually debating if I should drop uh, Matt Ryan, because uh, yeah, you know, I might. Ch- yeah, I think we'll, I'll change mine. I originally had the Colts uh, winning this one at home, but I think I'll take the Jags on the road, so they'll be back at three and three. Yeah, because. It feels like the the wins that the Colts have gotten this season have been down to straight up dumb luck, like the 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 one over the Broncos, and then they beat the Chiefs because the Chiefs just just completely played down to their competition. Yeah. So I I I think Jaguars have lost two in a row. They need to rebound, and I think this is how they start. Yeah, yeah. I think it. I think it's where they'll rebound. All right, and the coin has selected the Colts for this one. All right, next match up: uh, Patriots taking on the Browns. Patriots absolutely demolished the Detroit Lions. Browns, yeah, lo- yeah. Browns lost on a field goal. Oh man, two most detestable. Uh, NFL teams outside of Dallas. Yeah, and for completely different reasons. Right. Ugh. Yeah, it's a weird. I'm I'm taking the Browns in this one because I know I know they're the Patriots' Pats defense, especially with um, their rookie. Uh, Jack. Uh, what's Jack Jones? What's his? The uh, I forgot the, the the corner. Yeah, the corner. Yeah, Jack Jones. Jack Jones. I'm really stepping up and being, uh, being a leader there. Uh, Brown's run game is still really freaking dangerous. Um, oh, yeah. If, if the, uh, if what's, if, if Nick Chubb didn't have to split carries with Kareem Hunt, he would win MVP. Yeah, I'm not, not even joking. He might, he might run for 2,500 yards in a season. Yeah, probably. I mean, keep it, yeah, as long as, I mean, I mean, Brissett, and, you know, Brissett's doing fine. He's being, he's being fairly serviceable. Um, and, you know, Cooper and, um, crap, I'm trying to think of the other guy's name, uh... Donovan Peoples-Jones? Yes, Donovan Peoples-Jones. 
they're they're all they're reliable targets, uh, and also David and Joku. Um, mm-hmm. so you know, just keep him away. Just you know, if if Cooper is able to get by, uh, if, if Cooper is able to get get by uh, Jones on a, a lot of a lot, on some of those deep routes, uh, Browns I think might a- might actually beat the Patriots at home. And I know that's weird saying because the Patriots are starting to look like their old selves again. Um, Bailey Zapp looked pretty good, or Zappy looked pretty good in his, uh, like, he, he didn't set the world on fire, 17 for 21, 188, a touchdown and a pick. Right, but, but it's... But Ram- Ramondre Stevenson got 25 carries and 161 yards, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, but... He, it... he, he, he yeah. whooped ass. Yeah, but it, it's, it's their, it's the Patriots defense you have, you have to watch out, because they're now starting to come back from... This is... This is correct, and I think that's why I'm going to take the Patriots. Okay. Because, like, Jacoby Brissett is not throwing... Like, he'll occasionally throw two or three just inexcusable passes. Like, we saw that at the end of uh, last week's game against the Chargers, I want? Uh, Yes, it was against the Chargers. Yeah, where he just threw a backbreaker that, like, in a spot that would have put the Browns back out in front. That was but. that was yeah that was a moment where where you know when I saw when I saw him make the pass he should have just he should have just ran it mm-hmm. given that his target was still in the process of moving and the the defender was like right in front of him mm-hmm. um but yeah like I think I think the Browns will learn from their mistakes and I'll take I'll take the Browns over the Pats. Mm-hmm. And the coin has taken the Patriots. All right. All right. Next game. Bengals taking on the Saints. Bengals uh, lost. Ugh, Bengals lost a close one. Saints did a Saints played a really awesome fucking game. Yep. Uh, like what the hell happened to the Bengals? I'm just like, it's I don't know. It feels like that. Like they're really hot. They're like they're really starting to be like that hot and cold team, right? Like one, like you know, the past these past two the the two weeks uh, prior to last week, um, they started showing up and beating both the Jets as well as <clears throat> excuse me, um, uh, as well as the Dolphins. Um, but keep in mind again the the jet again the jets were cold and then and Tua got knocked out uh, in that game. Mm-hmm. So and again they were they were playing Justin Tucker who is the daddy. So <laughs> yeah the the guy who thank, thanks his placeholder <laughs> first career game winning hold. I love uh, like that. You see, Can I that... give Justin Tucker MVP votes? Yeah, probably. I, 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 I think he's like, it, it's the one guy, the one guy you can't hate. Mm-hmm. Like I real, I re, like that is that amount of, that is that humble pie that uh, is missing from, mm-hmm. uh, from from the Jags. Like that moment right. of the moment of he was like, yeah, of like this was like this isn't just a win for. Uh, me kicking the game winning field goal. It's like everything went right from the snap to the hold, and, and just right down, right down the middle. So, oh my god, it, there was a thing earlier that on uh, on uh, the Reddit page where they were saying that if the like he kicked that game winning field goal so down the middle that if the goalposts were a half a yard wide, it still would have been good. I did see that. That is, that is. So ridiculous. Mm. Like, I if if I were the like, granted they do have Lamar Jackson and he's great, but if they did not have Lamar Jackson, like say back when they had like Brent Huntley or something, but if my offense gets anywhere inside the forty yard line, I would be tempted to just immediately kick the field goal because <laughs> I feel like that's a viable strategy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other side, uh, McPherson's no longer Mr. Clutch, mm-hmm. which is a shame because it like he 
Like he was, I was, I was, like he was my favorite Bengals player last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know the the first like the first week he hasn't been really doing as as well. Um, right. But but they're also like and also Taylor has been kind of iffy as far as play calling, uh, especially mm-hmm. especially going for two uh, with the. I know. Sorry, not well. Not going for two, but doing the Philly spe- doing the Philly special and losing thir- uh, losing thirteen yards on on one play. Mm-hmm. That so, is what's known as getting too cute. Yeah, or you know, when the defense re- reads reads your bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that being said, again the. That being said, the Saints have been playing really well uh, as, as of late. Uh, again, the, the last game against uh, Seattle, just an absolute barn burner. Um, mm-hmm. Might go against the grain on this one, but I might just edge out the uh, pick the Bengals. I think this is going to be an offense-heavy game like last week. Mm-hmm. Uh <laughs> I'm going to take the Saints because, like, I feel like they're starting to adapt to having Andy Dalton in and finding uh, more and better places to use Taysom Hill. Like, I, I think that this uh, the Saints offense is starting to come together in a way that, like, can produce wins. So, I'll take them. I'll take the Saints. All right. Moving on. Next game. Buccaneers taking on the Steelers. Well... That first game for the Steelers was about as bad as I was expecting it to be. Yeesh. Poor Kenny Pickett. Yeah. Poor Kenny Pickett, even though he almost got into a fight with a D-tackle. Yeah, I saw I saw that. Because the, the, the way that... Uh, the way that... I think it was the way that he tackled him. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Carl Lawson? Um, no. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Oh. no, not him. It, uh, it, it During the... Um, or Shaq Lawson. Shaq, Shaq Lawson, Lawson. You're thinking of yes. Yeah, Carl Lawson's on the Jets. Mm-hmm. We'll I knew it was about... something Lawson. Yes, we'll talk about we'll talk about them later. But yeah, I think it was just the way that he got tackled is what got got him furious. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Good for him throwing tiny hands with that with like in his first career game. Good on him. Yeah, I mean. Looking, look at the stats. I mean, yeah, he he got absolutely floored. Uh, yeah. but he had his first three hundred yard game. Uh, didn't well, took, him 50, th- took him fifty two attempts to get there. Yeah, they they relied way too much on the pass and not yeah. and not anything on the run. Jalen Warren was the leading rusher, not Najee mm-hmm. Harris. Did, did Najee get hurt or something? Or? Uh, I don't think he did. No, he got 11 carries for 20 yards. Yeah, I think they, I think they just stopped him. Yeah, I think the Bills just might be a good team. <laughs> yeah, but but in other news, uh, Pick, uh, Pickens was the leading receiver, uh, 6 for 83. Deontay Johnson, like, again, he's spreading out... Um, he, he's spreading out the field as far as receivers are going, so he's he's getting there. But yeah, I mean, I, there's there was five people on that team that got at least five targets in that game, so he, he's he's getting the ball to his receivers. Yeah, exactly. Um, the problem is he's going up he's going up against the lead, like he went up against the Jets, uh, which uh, I don't think are a great defense, but a, a decent defense he, uh, that could be sneaky. And the best defense, defense on in, the rise. Yes, and then the the best fucking defense in the league. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm so happy I played them. I lost. <laughs> my, I lost by two points this week. Mm-hmm. Just because I didn't put in George Pickens and, and Dylan didn't give me anything. Yeah, and and now freaking they're going up against the Bucks, who have a a, a pretty darn good defense of their own. So. Yeah, it, it, it's because I want to see the Steelers uh, humble the Bucks. That'd be great, but, but I don't think the league will let them. Mm-mm. Not not after uh, it's illegal to tackle the quarterback. Uh, no, it, it's see, it's not illegal to tackle the quarterback. It's just illegal to tackle Tom Brady. 
Oh, no. No, do you remember? No, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, did you see the thing with David Carr? That's uh, our Derek Carr? Uh, Derek Carr? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, the one where the guy was called for roughing the passer despite the fact that he was holding the football? Yeah. Or how about uh, the previous week when, uh, <laughs> when what was it, uh, Josh Allen got shoved, and that was considered pa- pass- um, roughing the passer. Yeah, at this point, they should just, like, like take the quarterbacks and just, like, wrap them in bubble wrap. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, and I feel that this is a massive overcorrection based on what happened with Tua. Mm-hmm. Because they, they really want to, you know, make sure no one gets, you know, another concussion like he did. I mean... Oh, and- yeah, and this isn't the first time that they've, like, severely overcorrected like this. Like, I remember back in 2006 or so like they really started cracking down on horse collar tackles right after to broke his leg from a horse collar tackle right i remember yeah I specifically remember that one um that was it yeah i think that year they the following year they they added it to the list of penalties mm-hmm. um but in any case um bucks are gonna win this one uh the coin for some reason has picked the Steelers to win this game <laughs> Uh, who, who knows? Maybe, maybe he just hasn't watched it. Maybe maybe your coin just needs to watch more football. Well, I did just take it out of my wallet recently, so who knows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just just set set the coin in front of the uh, in front of the TV this week, and then like then then he'll know. All right, moving on. Next game: 49ers Falcons. 49ers have a really good defense. They're also really damn hurt. Falcons mm-hmm. got Falcons got fucking screwed by the referees. It might have been close. We don't know what would have happened if they did didn't call that uh, uh, the roughing the passer, but it would have still been a close game. Maybe they would have won. It it was up in the air. So um, I'm, deba- I'm debating here. It's like, can the 49ers still compete with a hurt defense, or will the Falcons take advantage of that? Well. In the words of one Skip Bayless, all that Jimmy Garoppolo does is win. Like he has a, I think he has a career seventy percent win percentage. He is he's like thirty five and fifteen. Like he he just wins. He just wins and is incredibly hot. These are these are two, like, undisputable facts about him. Yeah, my my only worry is again, uh, again referring to the the Forty Nine ers defense because they're not going to be without Bosa for a couple weeks, and mm-hmm. um, Mosley hurt uh, tore his ACL. Who, mm-hmm. despite having like like an amazing pick six against uh, uh, against the against the Panthers, they're they're going to be hurting. But again, I think this is going to be another close offensive game between the Forty Nine ers and the Falcons. But I think the 49ers will uh, will just edge it the just edge it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I think you're right on this. I think that the Falcons are going to be losing a lot of close games because they're honestly better than anyone really gave them credit for this season. So they'll they'll, they'll get there, but probably not this year. Right. I'm, I'm taking the 49ers as well. Okay. Next game, a game I want to watch, but I currently can't because I'm in a different state. Jets Packers. Wow, when did the Packers suddenly be not good? I have when they hired Joe Barry. That's when. Uh huh. I just, I am, I'm worried about the Packers right now because I, like, they're, they're, I feel like they're they're on a reset year. Like, yeah. I, I know. I mean, I know. Week one, they usually don't do too they it's become a tradition that uh, they don't play well and then they'll rebound after after that week one loss but after both losses to uh well yeah again but after a close game against the patriots which uh with a clutch kick from crosby and uh an embarrassing loss to the to the uh to the giants I'm starting to worry that there might be some, uh, like, I might be worried there. There's some, there's some uh, kinks in the armor that is that was the Green Bay Packers. 
Yeah, the, the, it, they just don't feel right. Like, it, 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 like before, Rodgers would just, like, be all cool and, you know, just relax. We got this. And we'd believe them. And then they would go out and, like, win 13 games in a row or some shit. Yeah. But then this year it's just been, like, like he has no receiving help. His, his secondary is not helping him out in any way. Yeah, and I I think Tom Grossi pointed this out. Uh, their run game is good. It, it, ha- it always has been good. Uh, mm-hmm. at the start of, at the, the first half of the, uh, the, uh, the Giants game, they were giving it to Aaron Jones and they, the Giants could not stop them. Mm-hmm. But then they stopped running the ball and it felt like, uh, at a point where it were either Rogers was, was, you know, like playing, was trying to play hero. Yeah. And there, uh, Grassi pointed this out. Uh, it uh, regarding those plays, especially the, the like when they went three and out, all three of them were passes. Mm-hmm. Is Rogers calling off the plays for passing, or is Lafleur telling them not to run the ball, and no one knows what's going on? That's a good question. Yeah, like it, it does feel like Aaron Rodgers, like he knows that he doesn't have any like it's like he thinks he doesn't have any help so he has to do it all himself yeah uh meanwhile on the jet side uh wilson is is an excellent game manager like i think what what they're doing with Sa- what sala and lafleur are doing with wilson is doing very well um, mm-hmm. I think he is probably Wilson is probably, and I'll, I'll say this: the Jets are probably one of the best fourth quarter offenses. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, uh, with the exception of the uh, the 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 Bengals game, uh, I've seen I've seen excellent fourth quarter play from the Jets. Uh, like when whenever the whenever I've seen the play, I think they got a formula at least a little bit down. Is start out hot, like get it get it decently, get the get the offense going, maintain it with the defense between the second and third quarter, and then just punch it through with the uh, with a in the fourth quarter. Uh, only exception mm-hmm. of course exception of course being last week when the when the defense absolutely demolished the uh the the Dolphins in the in, in the second half. Right, but then again, like we said earlier, they were uh, the Dolphins were stuck with a third string, seventh round rookie. Right. So. Yeah, and also uh, Taron Armstead uh, all, was also out. They lost their left tackle, so that's how. Ooh, uh, yeah. And that's how I think uh, Quinton Williams got um, got the got the strip uh, got the fumble recovery. Right. So the Jets, I the Jets are rising there. I, I'm liking their 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 secondary is solid. I like the I like uh, Sauce. Sauce Carter, uh, Reed, and uh, Lamarcus Shor- and uh, Jordan Whitehead uh, mm-hmm. in at as the as the uh, as their as their backfield. Um, uh, hopefully, Jermaine Johnson isn't too badly hurt, isn't too hurt. I know he I know he was taken out of the game briefly. Um, mm-hmm. I I think the I mean uh, uh, well the Jets really just need to just focus on stopping the run because Raheem Moser just ran all over them uh mm-hmm. last week so if they can contain the run i think this is my upset for the week i'm taking the jets over the packers in lambo i i think i agree with you like there's something that needs to change in green bay and until that does i don't feel good about taking them and i feel like the jets have something cooking oh, yeah. so i'm, I'm gonna take them as well all right Moving on, next game, Vikings taking on the Dolphins. Now, question, will Tua be back for this game? Uh, and if he's not, is Teddy going to be around? Teddy, I think, is, because uh, he did clear uh, concussion protocol dur- uh, during the, ga- uh, during, uh, the game. Uh, he just didn't, okay. he, he, he was just, out of precaution, cho- did not go back in. His, his big concern was his elbow. Right. So I okay. th- I think they're okay as far as Bridgewater. 
Um, so again, we'll we'll see what happens as far as that. But if Tua is ready to go, uh, Vikings might in, be in for a surprise. Right, right. And also, uh, Tyreek Hill was spotted in a walking boot. <gasps> oh, so that's not great. Uh, Xavier Howard is hurt or is questionable. Like they they got a lot of players right now, like good players who are kind of gimpy at the moment. Oh yeah, that is fair. Uh, meanwhile, Vikings are playing really well. Yeah, yeah, they are. They found they found where Justin Jefferson is. Yay! There he is. He's in the end zone. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you know, is it, like depending on the QB situation. Here's what what I'll say. As far as the the QB situation goes, if they manage to clear Tua and the wide receivers are and their offensive core is strong, I will pick the Dolphins. If they're not, I would if. I, I'll pick the Dolphins uh, because I, I like I'll I'll see some sneaky op- some sneaky offense maybe Mike uh, Mike McDaniel uh, will come away with something. Mm-hmm. But if they're not, if Tua or um, Bridgewater is not in, uh, I expect a, a Vikings uh, a Vikings win. But I will pick, I... but I'll pick the Dolphins just in case. I think I'm going to take the Vikings just to play on the side of caution because i think that even if the uh quarterback situation is sorted out they're gonna be kind of like easing them back in and the vikings look good this year so i think i'm just gonna take the vikings outright all righty next game on the list first of the four o'clock games panthers taking on the rams panthers uh, so go ahead was Matt Rule all of the problem? I do not think so. Uh, I think there's a, there's a lot of problems uh, in Carolina, and it, and yeah. it's and it's not just uh, it wasn't just the head co- wasn't just the head coach. Um, right now, the person that's ru- running uh, running the team is the same guy who wanted to dra- who worked with Josh Rosen uh, in in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I agree with you on that, but also something's up in L.A. Like, they have been hair of shit the last few weeks. Their offensive line is bad. Hmm. I mean, they lost Andrew Whitworth last year. Yeah. Uh, and they, they expected uh, Joe Notebloom to, like, <clears throat> uh, to be that guy who replaced him, and he's just not yeah like and also their running game just has not been able to get off the ground at all their leading rusher on the season has barely over 150 yards through five games right ah uh, but in any case um somehow the rams are come are gonna come out the winners in this i don't know how but I don't know. Maybe their defense will step up against uh, against PJ Walker. Oh man, that 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 uh, XFL legend PJ Walker. I am gonna take XFL legend PJ Walker. Oh. I think this is my big upset of the week because the Rams the Rams look fucky, and I don't trust them. And I think that something's gonna happen in this game that is going to be like. Oh, oh man, this Rams team is not the same Rams team that just won the Super Bowl. So, mm. and and I think that the Panthers win, shock of shocks, and afterwards, like something like some big change happens in LA, whether that's like an offensive coordinator getting fired or something, but something's got to change. I'd say the line, the offensive line coach gets fired, something like that. Yeah. All right, moving on. Um, this actually could. This next game might be underrated given who's coming back. Cardinals Seahawks. And who's coming back? D Hop. Oh, this is D Hop's first. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. This is week. This is week six. Five weeks? 
Oh wait, is it five weeks? I thought I thought he was coming. I thought back. he got six weeks. DeAndre Hopkins suspension. Uh, let me double check. I mean, he's back at the practice facility. Yeah, I, I know he's back to practice. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they dropped it. They suspended for the first six games of the season. Oh darn. Okay. So not this week. Ah, next week. Next week. Next week. Bigger D hop. Darn. Uh, but in, in 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 any case, uh, Cardinal uh, uh, both two and three teams. Uh, Seahawks looked amazing against the Saints. Uh, Cardinals almost won uh, against the against the uh, against the Eagles, uh, if not for a if not for a missed field goal from Amendola, because I think was it Prater's hurt. Mm-hmm. That sounds right. Uh, yeah. But, so so the Cardinals were about a field goal away from winning. Seahawks were a touchdown away from winning. Seahawks have the be- have the better offense. Let's face it. That's weird to say. Well, actually, no, because like the, the going into the season, the only part of the the Seahawks offense that we were particularly like worried about, I guess, was the quarterback situation. Because you know they had Rashad Penny, he's good, and they drafted Kenneth Walker. They still have DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Uh, they just picked up Noah Fant in the in the Russell Wilson trade, and their O line uh, is starting to improve as well with uh, Charles Cross. So that the the Seahawks offense is improving. That we were all just kind of waiting on the quarterback to come along, and nobody was expecting the quarterback to be Geno Smith, former Jet Geno Smith. Oh, put some respect on his name. I know. Uh, he's, that's what... he's averaging 260 yards per game with a completion percentage like of I hang on I gotta figure out what this is but his touchdown interception ratio is nine to two and he's with a 64 percent completion percentage. Did Geno Smith win it most improved? Could be. He could. Well, we'll see. I need to find out what those odds are. Uh, I mean, I have other odds for most improved. Um, I'm trying to remember who was on that list for most improved. I have to double check. Going to DraftKings right now. I will get back to you on this one. All right. Uh, but in any case, uh, I'm picking the Seahawks over the Cardinals. I think I, even even though they lost, I think the the Seahawks are the are the hotter team. Uh, yeah. Like I like the Seahawks this year. They they. Actually, I don't think the NFL has a most improved player. So uh, comeback hopefully, player, guess. they have comeback player, but I don't think Geno Smith would qualify for that. Well, actually, he actually he, he he's would second on that list. He it? who's number one? Saquon. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was Run thinking. Run away, <laughs> like it, Saquon Barkley is minus two twenty five, and Geno Smith is second at plus one thousand. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a shootout between those two. But uh, Saquon, as as long as he doesn't get hurt again, is gonna be the runaway. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So you taking the Seahawks? But yeah, the Seahawks just look better. I'm taking the Seahawks. All right. Next game. This should this honestly should be the Monday night game, but we'll get to it. Chiefs taking on the Bills. Game of the week. Game of the week. Oh my. god god i want like this this is gonna be that this is gonna be an amazing game i'm gonna uh, hopefully cbs will keep it on over here because i know we're gonna be uh we're getting uh, i believe the pats browns game uh oh, i want so, this game in my eye holes everyone wants this game in their eye holes oh my god it's it's the Gosh, like both teams, both teams are good. I mean, I, I know the Chiefs struggled against the Raiders. God, that's weird to say. Um, but Mahomes is Mahomes is magic. Yep, yes he is. But like, if Pat Mahomes is magic, then uh, then Josh Allen might be a wizard, sorcerer, sorcerer, sorcerer. Yes, even better. Thank you. Because like Josh Allen, he's gonna win MVP this year. This is not close. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to this game. I'm expect. I'm looking forward to the Bills trouncing the Chiefs. Yeah, like I, I think that this is gonna be 
like so this is revenge this is revenge for the uh playoffs when uh josh allen uh took his team to overtime and never got the ball yeah i i'm look i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to this i'm i can't wait go bills yeah go bills taking the bills all right looks like the coin also says coin go bills yes uh, and uh, oh, by the way, uh, previously uh, they said the cart they they picked the Cardinals. Okay, yeah, right. I, I I realized that I don't think that any of us had said it the last couple of ones. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, uh, where did we last pick? Uh, they picked the Steelers, 49ers, Jets, Vikings, Panthers, Cardinals, Bills. Now, other possible game of the week: Sunday Night Football, possibly for the lead in the NFC East. Cowboys. Possibly for, the, possibly for the one seed in the NFC. Yeah. Cowboys, Eagles. Ugh, I hate that I like this game so much. I know. I love it. I want to I want to I want to stay up and watch this, but I can't cuz I have work. Boo, fuck work. No, I need I need that job. Yeah, I, I, I know. I probably do. Like I'm depending on how my work schedule is, I might have Sunday night off. But normally I have to uh, work during, like, my my shift starts right as the games are ending, so. Yeah. But in any case, uh, Cowboys, defense, go get them. Oh, man. Like, the and the Eagles defense, go get them. Like, this is going to be, this is going to be the best kind of, like, 17-13 game. I know. I, 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 I'm excited. I, and I don't like either team because, you know. Eagles are undefeated against the Jets, and the Cowboys are the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to them being the crap out of each other. Uh huh. This is gonna feel like one of those like AFC North matchups where the two teams want to actually murder each other. Oh my gosh! I'm just. I don't know who's gonna get hurt. and occasionally do. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know who's gonna get hurt worse, Cooper Rush. Or Jalen Hurts, <laughs> and Hurts has yeah, I... and Hurts has that last name. So, oof, that uh, hurts. I know. Mm. Oh, this is tough. I don't want to pick either team, and I don't want to. I'm going to the... take the Eagles because I think I had the Eagles as like my underdog team of the year going in, and if they beat the Cowboys here on Sunday Night Football in front of the world, like the Eagles are like the Eagles are at that point officially. Like, the best team in the league. Like, I know that, like, the Bills are probably the more complete team, but Eagles would be 6-0. and Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm only picking the Eagles because they're the home team. If they were, sure. if, if uh, I will pick, uh, come around next time when they're, when they're playing in Dallas, I will pick Dallas. Mm-hmm. Because right. both the teams are really good, I'm giving the home. I'm giving. I'm giving home field advantage. Right. And finally, Broncos Chargers Monday night game. <sighs> mm. Broncos are terrible. Chargers are not normal. A pick in the Chargers. Teams are, both teams are being coached by people who seem like they are so in over their head. Like Brandon Staley is, like Brandon Staley is just straight up not making correct calls, and Nathaniel Hackett's issues are known. Like, well, you know the saying, "It's better to be lucky than good." Yeah, Chargers are damn lucky. Right, uh, and they're gonna they're gonna run through the Broncos. I just know it. Yeah, this is gonna. Like, this, like, if the Chargers do well enough, like, say this game ends, like, 38-13 or something like that, you think Nathaniel Hackett is getting fired before the halfway point of the season? Because it's gotten so bad over there. I am not sure. I'm only not sure in the fact that I don't know if they have anybody who could, like, come in and replace them. Maybe they should bring back Vic Fangio. Oh fuck! <laughs> Why would you say such hurtful things? 
<laughs> at least he know what knew what the hell he was doing for majority of the time. It's just that you know the the team sucked. Uh, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm I'm taking the Chargers, but like only if Austin Eckler can keep like showing that he's like really fucking good. Because he, he did last week. Yeah. Like, scored three touchdowns, I think, so. Yay. <laughs> God damn. Also, uh, I, I think I forgot to mention this during the um, uh, the Chiefs game, but I just want to bring up that fucking stat line that Chavis Kelsey put up last week. Okay. Oh. Seven receptions, 25 yards, four touchdowns. <laughs> that is a bizarre stat line. Oh my god! I had to, I actually looked it up. Who had the uh, fewest all-purpose yards in a four-touchdown game? And the former holder of that record was Danny Woodhead. Wow! Um, how, what year with the what year of the Pats? Oh, I do not remember. Probably like 2012 or something. But um, but he had 60 yards in that game. So uh. Travis Kelsey cut that record in half. Uh, 2015. All right. It was uh, Danny Woodhead, TJ Duckett uh, below him, and then a bunch of people I don't know. Oh, and OJ Simpson. Hello. 